In August 2005, one of the most audacious and mysterious heists in history took place. It was a heist so perfectly executed that it still baffles investigators to this day. The Banco Central burglary in Fortaleza, Brazil, where over $70 million vanished into thin air. And what's even more shocking, most of the money was never recovered. But this wasn't just an ordinary bank robbery. It took months of meticulous planning and the kind of patience you'd expect from seasoned criminals. The thieves rented a small property near the bank, presenting themselves as employees of a fake landscaping company. From there, they secretly worked for three months, digging an 80-meter tunnel under the streets of Fortaleza, all while remaining completely unnoticed. Then, on the weekend of August 6th and 7th, 2005, the criminals made their move. While the bank was closed for the weekend, they broke through the floor of the vault. What they encountered was a challenge, an incredibly thick, 1.1 meter reinforced concrete vault. But even that didn't stop them. The thieves broke through and managed to steal around three and a half tons of Brazilian reais, most of it in 50 real notes. That's approximately 160 million reais or 70 million US dollars in cash. When bank employees returned to work on Monday morning, they were shocked to find the vault practically empty. The heist had been executed flawlessly. No alarms triggered, no guards alerted. It was as if the money had simply disappeared. In the aftermath, Brazilian police launched an intense investigation. Over time, several arrests were made. Among those captured were some of the individuals involved in digging the tunnel and handling the logistics. However, despite their efforts, authorities have only managed to recover a fraction of the stolen money, less than 10%. The rest of the cash remains missing to this day. So, where did the money go? Some believe that it was funneled through various international criminal organizations and laundered in offshore accounts. Others suspect it may have been hidden in safe houses or private vaults. Whatever the case, the majority of the fortune is still out there, waiting to be uncovered. Even more puzzling, some of the masterminds behind the heist either disappeared or were mysteriously killed shortly after the robbery. For example, Antonio Jusivan Alves dos Reis, one of the ringleaders, was arrested. But others, like Marco Antonio de Oliveira, were never fully accounted for. Did these figures manage to escape with their share of the loot, or did they fall victim to the underworld they were part of? The heist raises broader questions. Was this the work of a local gang, or did it have connections to larger, more powerful criminal syndicates? With so much money unaccounted for, there are whispers of international involvement, with the loot possibly ending up far beyond Brazil's borders. To this day, the Banco Central burglary remains one of the greatest mysteries in criminal history. A heist pulled off with the precision of a Hollywood movie, but with real-world consequences, and a fortune that's still missing. Will the remaining money ever be found? Or has it been lost forever in the dark corners of the criminal underworld? This is Arcana Axis, uncovering the mysteries behind history's greatest unsolved crimes. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more incredible stories.